In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Nova to Axiom. So the first thing you'll need is Axiom account, of course. And if you want to get that, there's a link down below in the description, as well as in the pinned comment, you can check that out. And if you sign up using my link, you will receive a 10% discount on all trading fees forever on Axiom. So make sure to check that out. So that's the first thing. And then once you have your Axiom account, you want to also have Nova. So Go to this link over here, which is click.tradeonnova.io, and you will need this thing over here, which of course is called Telegram on either web, your mobile device, or you can use the desktop version in case you have the app. So the first thing you then want to do is, of course, going to happen in Nova. And you want to go to this link, as I said, click.tradeonnova.io, and from here, you want to click Download for Chrome. This will take you to, the, to this um, Chrome Web Store, and in here you want to add this to Chrome. It's basically an extension, and you want to click Add Extension yet again. Now this takes a few seconds, and there we go. You then get this message, Nova Extension has been added to Chrome. Now you want to close this down simply, and you can leave this page, and now you can see it says Connect Telegram on this exact website once you come back. So just click Connect Telegram, and it will give you this prompt. You can then either start a bot. So if you have Telegram installed on your computer, so the desktop version, you can click start bot. But if you just have the web version, you can click open in web. As you can see, it now put me inside the web version. And right now, at this very moment, my, my uh, main bot is currently under maintenance. But for you, you will just have to type slash start or click start up here and your bot will start. Now. If this happens, just use one of the bots it suggests. So for me over here, as you can see, I'm using the second bot now because the first one is simply under maintenance. Now, what you then want to do is actually quite simple. So the first thing you want to click those three lines over here and click on menu. Inside menu, you want to click on wallets. And in case you haven't created a wallet inside Nova yet, you will have to create one. It's very simple. Just uh, basically click create wallet over here and it will create a new wallet and give you detailed instructions on how to do it. It's very quick. And after you have your wallet, you want to click export private key. And then to see your private key, you want to click the name of your wallet. So for me, it's wallet one. Uh, you want to click on this or whatever your wallet name may be. Of course, I'm not going to click it because I'm not going to reveal my uh, private key over here, but you will have to do it and then just click on it like this and you'll be able to copy it. Now, once you've done this, we're going to go ahead and go to Axiom. And the way you do this is, of course, by the link in my description, as I just told you earlier. And from here, you want to click on your account top right and click on account and security. In here, you want to go into wallets and click on manage wallets. And over here, as you can see, it says select active wallet. You just click one. So I only have this one. That's going to be the one. And then it will say wallet switched successfully. And you want to add a new wallet, which says beta over here. And you have to paste in your private key. Now, once you do this, of course, it should be this key that you received by clicking over here inside Nova on your wallet. And then you want to paste it in here and press add wallet. This will add your Nova wallet inside the Axiom network. And once you've done this, you can basically start using Nova over here. And the way you do it is by going to this puzzle icon top right. And in here, as you can see, you have your Nova extension right now. So you want to pin this if you want to, of course, for easier access up here. And you simply want to just click on this icon over here. So it's the Nova icon. Click on that. And then it says disabled. And you want to just enable this. And then from here, you can see you can start using it. So it refreshed the page. You can then set all your presets, your buy and sell amounts. I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. You can just uh, search this up for yourself, manage it however you want to, and then just start using it over here on Axiom. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.